joined right now by Rob Chestnut from Keller Williams. And Rob, we're going to talk real estate investing. You do it all over Eastern Mass. I do. Uh, there's a definite skill to it. It's not just finding a market and uncovering that immediate opportunity. It takes a lot more than that. I think so. I think you have to be broader in your search and, and, and in the way you look at things. I think as an investor, I think most investors are not emotional about a specific town unless they want to specialize in Quincy or have to have all their properties located in one particular town. I think, you know, I have stuff in East Boston and, st and stuff in Roxbury and stuff in New Bedford. The numbers have to make sense. And I think as an investor, they're unemotional. If the numbers make sense, they'll make that purchase. All the reality TV that's out there today and the HGTV, there's a lot of people that want to jump into real estate. Yeah. And investing because it looks sexy oh, on it's TV, easy right oh yeah super easy yeah it's really not no and I think that that's a great point to take away is that you have to leave the emotion out of it. you can't be just focused on one one market no. right no I, I would say absolutely not and and in regards to to figuring out where that property lies it's not just working with the agent that sells the most homes in that market it's working with an agent that knows and understands what it takes to, to find a successful property that's going to work for that investor. Yes, I think MLS as a tool allows realtors to you know break down the numbers and look at different markets if you know how to use the data that it gives us. So you don't have to use that one particular agent who specializes in this one market. Uh, you use a realtor that understands that type of market is investing, whether it be flipping, whether it be uh, buying and holding uh, real estate, work with the right person. And that's key because just because somebody's got the most signs in a town when you're mm. driving around doesn't mean that they know how to break down the real estate investing side. Two, That's right. Two different animals in a lot of ways. Uh, you brought up the fact that you're doing deals in New Bedford, in East Boston, in Roxbury. Uh, Roxbury, this is the second time I've heard Roxbury come up recently. It sounds like there's, there's opportunity in that market. Typically, people shy away from it, but there's something there now. Yeah, I, I do. I do think that. Um, I think that there are towns and cities in the Commonwealth that have negative connotations. Roxbury may be one of them. But I think if you look and open your eyes to the, the investment opportunity there, I think you look at it a little bit differently. And, and from the, the Eastern Mass standpoint, uh, is there any specific towns outside of Roxbury that you're focusing on right now? Everybody wants that next gem. Mm. Is there any specific town? Or going back to your point, it really depends on the investment? I think it depends on the investment. I really do. Um, and that could be, you know, someone could want to be in one particular town like this, Quincy. Uh, but I think if you just look at the investment overall, it doesn't matter the town. It just matters the return on that investment. Right? Unemotional. Makes sense. Keeping emotion out of it. With that being said, for, for the investor that's just jumping into the game or wants to jump into the game, mm -hmm. what's, what's that one piece of advice that you would pass along? Don't become emotional. Don't become emotionally attached and don't become emotionally involved when you're uh, going to bid on a property. When, when there's multiple, uh, multiple offers on a property, it gets real easy to become emotional. And that emotion could get you carried away because you think you don't realize what it's going to take to rehab this property. Great information. Thanks, Rob. If you want to connect with Rob directly, check out robertchestnut.com. And remember, this is real estate powered by Hub.